check out this turtle of a thousand voices. Voiced by Mel Blanc, the Jewish man of a thousand voices, the turtle shows how versatile and funny an excellent voice actor can be. This is David Benkoff with Jewish Culture 101. In a recent class, we looked at Jewish voice actors and the contributions they made to animation in the United States. One accomplished Jewish voice artist is South Park creator Matt Stone, who has done dozens of character voices over the years, including Gerald Broslowski. These laws tell us what we can and can't say in the workplace. And butters. I'm eight years old, I'm blood type O, and I'm bi curious. The Simpsons is spiced up by three important Jewish voice artists. Harry Shearer's voice turns up fairly well disguised in myriad characters such as Mr. Burns, Wayland Smithers, Ned Flanders, and Principal Skitter. Uh, Wayland Smithers, <laughs> who uh, attends to every need uh, without ever being recognized. Ned Flanders, the uh, world's best neighbor. And yes. Julie Kavner's distinctive know, throaty voice for Marge Simpson and her sisters is unforgettable. We're basically saying no more babies. Hank Azaria's comic book guy, Chief Wiggum, and Mo the Bartender are beloved and relatively uncontroversial. But lately, voice actors like Azaria have had to stop voicing characters of minority races, which for Azaria meant especially Quickie Mart entrepreneur Apu. Jury duty. Oh, today I am truly an American citizen. <laughs> Many South Asians objected to Apu as a harmful stereotype. So let's move on to another classic voice actor, the versatile and charming June Foray. So they started to talk to me about a moose and a squirrel. Foray's most famous character was Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Bullwinkle, you can't do that! But she also played old ladies. I'm going to send you to the violin string factory. Witches. Oh, very well. And little children. Taking our Christmas tree? Why? And her Natasha was the Potsylvanian Cold War partner in crime. Think, darling, think. There must be something really rotten we can do today. Of Boris Badenov, himself portrayed by a fellow Jewish voice actor, Paul Fries. I'm thinking, but the worst I come up with is helping to make Moose and Squirtle show one hour longer. Fries's voice is perhaps best known not for animation, but for theme park attractions. Listen. Ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. And now we come to the king of voice actors, Jewish vocal talent Mel Blanc. He was able to identify distinctive vocal characteristics that created personality, such as Daffy Duck's lips. Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. And Bugs Bunny's Brooklyn Bronx accent. Boy. I wish I could run one of these babies. Now watch perhaps one of the greatest achievements of voice acting, as Mel successfully had two characters credibly impersonate each other. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Having any luck on those ducks? It's duck season, you know. Just a darn minute. Where do you get that duck season stuff? Says so right over there on that sign. You're so smart. We discuss the side issue related to Blake's voices that's easy to miss, the ways they can lead to bullying. Some of his characters stutter, some lisp, and others have foreign accents. But I'm not stealing! I'm starving! Do Blake's performances enable the mocking of young people with speech challenges? Or do they empower children? Because if Corky Pig stutters, they can too. Put your opinion in the comments. The last voice actor we'll look at has had an accomplished career despite being only 47 years old. That's young in the voice acting world, which might be why Tara Strong plays a lot of babies and girls. I love doing Rugrats. I got to play the littlest baby on that. <laughs> and of course, Powerpuff Girls was so fun. I got to play Bubbles, who's the cutest ever. Every Monday, I offer a free online class, Jewish Culture 101 which looks at the contributions of American Jews to literature, Broadway, art, film, music, and television. See links and info in the notes. And for more videos, press the button to subscribe.